Zimbabwe's president, Emerson Mnangagwa, pays his respects to Morgan Tsongerai's family. For years, the main opposition leader was assaulted and arrested by police for demanding free and fair elections. The ruling ZANU-PF party, then led by Robert Mugabe, charged him with treason and called him a puppet of the West. The new president says it's time to end old rivalries. It has been my call that the coming harmonized elections and I'm appealing to all political parties in this country to hear my call that we need no violence in this country. We need fair, free, credible elections this year. When the election is held, many believe the opposition must appear united if it's to have any chance of winning. The MDC Tea Party has a new leader, Nelson Chamisa. He will be acting president for 12 months. But two other senior party members, Tokozana Kube and Elias Mzuri, aren't happy about his appointment. They say they will make a big announcement after Morgan Tsangirai has been buried. There's speculation the opposition could split if some key officials decide to walk away. Others hope that doesn't happen. I must admit that there are a lot of infighting within the party, but they can be contained. I think our leadership must unite, our leadership must focus on the greater good of the party, not on selfish interests. Tsangirai died in South Africa on Wednesday. Some of his supporters say now his body is home, reality is sinking in. The man known as the face of Zimbabwe's opposition lived long enough to see Robert Mugabe's downfall, but it seems not a united opposition. A rally is expected on Monday to honor his life, but his final farewell is planned for Tuesday when he will be buried at his rural home. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.